assuming 2,000 or more experience points. Very helpful, especially in... Well, not particularly in Heights of Power, but in general. 2,000 is always great. So, pretty nervous. Got Ice Wave. Rain of Fire. And here we have a shitload of knights Nobody wants to know. that will die, Nobody hopefully. Alright, well, let's begin. I don't think they can see me. Okay, there we go. Cut out that magic. Last warning, cut out that magic. I warned you. I warned you. Okay, let's see. Guards, let's see how this goes. Stop it already? Alarm! Guards, stop. right stop. now! I'll get you! Alarm! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. You haven't seen the last of me! Oh, I'm shit. The one who does the bashing around here, understood? Okay, well, as you can see, that didn't go very well at all. But basically, what I want to do is uh, use Rain of Fire to kill them all, pretty much. And in the process, I don't want to actually kill Martin, who's the uh, actual good old fella standing right about there or something, but who knows. Sleep, Ice Wave, okay. God damn it, this is Guards, so difficult. Right now. Now I've got you. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not very easy to do. <clears throat> so I'm gonna edit this out until I actually uh, do manage to, you know, destroy them all. Well, basically what has happened is I've used up my spell scroll and uh, I have accomplished nothing so I have failed <sighs> alright well I guess that the only thing I can do is actually um, figure out how much money I have left which is oh boy 55 gold fuck me I am so screwed well at least I've got a fire rain of fire scroll which is gonna help me out in the future and let's drink a healing potion, which obviously did nothing to help me. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the uh, actual guard in this warehouse. And I'm gonna do that by actually buying a uh, ice block scroll and pretty much... No, that's not gonna work. I just remembered why. Okay, well... Let's just go down here then. Oh my god, this episode is all over the place. Okay, well... Let's go over here and talk to... Barim, I think his name is. Brahim. Is it true that some townspeople have simply vanished? So I've heard, but I'm not sure whether it's really true. Just look around you. Does this rat hole look like the place where you want to spend your golden years? <laughs> Small wonder that people are getting themselves out of here. You should have known. What are you doing here? My name is Brahim. I draw maps and sell them. Since you're new here, maybe you could use a map of the city? It's quite affordable and very useful until you know your way around. Show me your maps. And as you can see, not very useful because I already know my Come way back around again here. Later. I'm sure to have something new for you then. Of course you will. Okay, let's talk to uh, Jack, which is probably the only character in every single Gothic game, apart from I think Gothic One. Oh, hi, you landlubber. Looks like you're stranded here. You look a bit pale around the gills. Never mind, my lad. All you need is a good stiff sea breeze. What are you doing here? Back when I was a young man, I went to sea and rode through many a big storm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I love it when that happens. 
No big deal, not at all. But that old tower came closest to what I call a home. I haven't been up there in ages. Why not? Ever since these scallywags took over my lighthouse, I haven't dared get closer to it than 20 feet. Really bad rabble, that. They're criminals from the Valley of Mind, you know. There was this big bang on the other side of the mountains, and they swarmed all over the land like flies. Now they're hiding out everywhere, even in my lighthouse. I think they're on the lookout for any ship they can raid. Ah, let them. Then at least they'd be out of my tower. Do you come to town often? I always say, a town is only as good as its harbor. A harbor is the gate to the world. That's where everyone meets, and where everything starts. Once the harbor goes to the dogs, the rest of the city will follow soon. Okay, well, that's that. Now that quest is probably one of the hardest in all of Corinthus because the damn bandits are actually insanely powerful. One of them can kill you very easily, and the fact that you have to take on three of them is just insane. Okay, um... Probably gonna talk to Laris a bit later, not now. Okay, now I think I've already beaten up Mo, so no point in talking to him again. Okay, this Cardiff and that go. Okay, let's uh, see how that goes later. Good old Mo. I think I'm gonna do this quest now. Uh, if I haven't completed it yet. Boy! That lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the harbor district? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Okay, well, the only real thing you can do is just beat him up. There really is no other way around it. So, just stop fighting him. You'll oh this. As you can see, he's a very easy person to beat up. However, he's one of the few characters, one of the few early ones, that actually uh, use a double attack combo. So be careful, especially if you're a lower level. And I am level 8 at the moment, so that's just unbelievable. Oh wow, I've got quite a bit of quests. Amazing. Much better looking now. Feels more like a hardcore challenge already. Don't you try that again. Eat my balls. Hey. Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. Alrighty then. Now let's go back to uh, Alwyn. Far out. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. Alright, now. Uh, there's one side quest around here, uh, it's pretty easy, but it could uh, seem difficult, but we'll see. Talk to Auric. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the harbor district. Home sweet home. 
What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed, no bows or crossbows, and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Sure bloody do. Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Hell bloody yeah. Come here. Then let's here see what you can do. Of now this guy can do quite a bit of criticals very easily. So uh, make sure you block very often. Other than that, he's very easy to beat up. So, and this also triggers a very simple, uh, yet very high XP yielding quest uh, called Alric Sword or something like that. Give it your all. Not bad. Don't mess with me, bitch. Come at me, bro. Alright, well, anyways, uh, luckily it's just uh, evening now, so I managed to trigger the uh, side quest, or quest, depending on how you look at it. So, yeah. Ah, my. Wait a minute. Oh, man. You packed quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. I want to fight against you. Nah, nah. Before I go up against you again, I need a better weapon. I had to sell my sword a few days ago. With that, baby, I'm unbeatable. If you get it back for me, I'll take you on again. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. Alright, well, I guess I could actually complete the quest now, but I prefer to actually talk to the final people of the Harbour District before I go on to good old Jora and good old Laris. So yeah, let's see, who else can I find here? Oh, another one important, of course. Okay, let's talk to uh, Cardiff. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost ten gold pieces. Do you really think? I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well, if you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. I need information. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. 